Hello, welcome everyone. Welcome to our backtesting jam session. We have been away for a week or so. I have not been feeling well. I've been under the weather a bit, so I haven't been able to come uh, do these sessions, but here we are. So starting now, uh, we are live and we will go back to our backtesting session here. So what are we doing? Uh, the purpose of these backtesting jam sessions uh, is to actually get comfortable with price action, to understand how market behave uh, behaves, how the price action uh, plays out and to learn this price behavior. And so this is kind of like, like using a flight simulator, except for Forex here, we're just, uh, we're going bar by bar and we are going to basically guess on where the price will go next. So that is what we are doing. So let's let's dive in here. And the strategy that we are really using is working off of the daily chart. And we are going to uh, figure out what the market direction is, because that's the first thing that we need when we start trading or before we start trading, we need to understand what direction market's going to go in and then figure out where our entries are going to be. All right, so let's dive in. If you are live with me, welcome, and please feel free to post comments as we go. And as the price shows up, feel free to actually uh, post your comments as to where price may go so that, uh, so that you can participate in the, in the backtesting session. Okay, so I'm a little under the weather still, so please bear with me. Hi, Schumann, how are you? Welcome. All right, let's get started. So here we have pound US dollar daily chart. At the moment, we are at, uh, we have a bullish, uh, bullish candle close price moved up, pulled back, moved up, pulled back, and then it has been going sideways right now. Now we have a bullish engulfing candle close. So where do you think the price is gonna go from here? So what's your guess? So for me, uh, what we have here is a range bound market and with the price ranging here, uh, overall it is bullish. Price is making higher lows and it is pushing up and she even says price will go up. Um, I am looking for a follow through to the upside as well. But one thing that to keep in mind that we do need to keep in mind is that we are into resistance. So we just have to be mindful of that. So in on the live charts, we would um, I would drop down into a lower time frame here to see what the price is doing. So we can kind of take once price starts to hold on the other side, then go long with it. So Shuman and Larry says it's gonna go up and I think it's gonna go up as well. So let's take a look. Here we go. So this is what I was talking about. So sometimes when we are in a range bound market, even though price is pushing higher here because we are into resistance, that's why it's very important to for us to look at this on a lower time frame and see what kind of price action we see. All right, so we now we have a big bearish candle close. It's a bearish engulfing candle close. So what do we expect now? So here I would be looking for price to drop further. So this is a nice bearish engulfing candle close. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that now we are into the support here now. Here we were into resistance. Price did not manage to break uh, the highs here. Now we are into support here and we are right into our support level here where the pins are. So again, this is where we would go into a lower time frame and make sure the price is holding below this support resistance level. But overall, with the bearish candle close here or bearish engulfing candle close because this candle here engulfs the previous price action, I would be looking for price to drop further. So let's see if it does. 
It doesn't. And that's, that was um, exactly what I meant about what, making sure that on a lower time frame. So make sure that it is holding below. So Shivan, are you referring to our back testing session? Or are you talking about the live ones? Uh, so in the in the back testing session, we haven't quite gotten to that point of tracking the uh, tracking our results as to in what direction it's going in. So right now we're just basically guessing where it's um, where it's going. So at this point, it it doesn't matter. It's kind of like. Think of yourself as a basketball player, right? So right now, all we're trying to do is shoot the basket or, you know, try to get the ball in the basket. It doesn't matter how many we get in there. The idea is to just keep on shooting so that we get to practice uh, trying to get the ball in the basket. And that's really all we are looking for at this point. Um, all right. So now we have a bullish candle close. What do we expect from here? What's, what's your take? Any guesses? So here, um, what, the way I would look at this one is we are into, uh, we're still bullish. So price is holding this range, as we can see. Price has been trading in this range. It is a bullish candle close. So I'm looking for price to test this high or this high. So I am bullish. So I would look for price to test the high. And now we need to see a close on either side of the range. So not a tremendous trading opportunity here because really this is uh, this is all we have in terms of profit target and price has been a very choppy. So we do need to see the price either break above the high or close uh, below the, the bottom here so that it gives us a direction. Um, so right now, just looking for price to test this or that level. So I see pullback and principle says pullback and then up, yeah. And let's take a look. Arnold, uh, so Larry says uh, up into resistance, I agree, okay. So it did go all the way up into this resistance and now we have a bearish candle. Uh, we have a bearish candle close. So, um, so Schumann, the reason the 50-50 chance of it going either way is because we are in a range-bound market. So in a range-bound market, it's exactly that, right? It's when it's at the high, we're looking for it to drop into the bottom. When it's at the bottom, we're looking for it to go into the high. So there really, um, there is no real direction. It's when we start to see some sort of a trending move that's when we have to we get some good trades but when it's range bound like this when it's range bound like this there's really so this is when I would go into a different um, so the way I would trade this is I would look into the highs so that's why it's very important to look at highs and lows here or or the edges of the range so this is where the trading opportunities will be either at the top here or into the bottom not so much in the middle um, not the best place to trade because it could go either way but at the edges so this is when we go into a lower time frame I'd be looking for price to either break out and hold on the other side or show us a reversal and which is when we will look for that reversal trade back into the bottom. So now we have, uh, we tested the high and price has dropped. We have a bearish candle close. Where do we expect the price to go next from here? So for me here, I would be looking for price to come back as we are in a range bound market. I'd be looking for price to drop back down into the bottom of the range here. So let me take a look. Okay, so it went all the way down and then all the way back up and a very, very neutral candle. There's no direction in this one. So in this bearish candle, at least the direction was that we would go into the bottom here and go test the lows. In this one, it looks like some sort of a news event must have happened for it to whipsaw like that. But overall, the candle close is very, very neutral. So again, this is one of the days where we would go and take a look at a different chart and see if there is a better trading opportunity on that chart. So here it's very neutral, could go either way. So let's take a look. Okay, so now we have a big bearish candle close. So with this one, actually, um, I was just about to make, make a comment before I press the button there. So overall, it was it had made a lower low here, um, lower low, I should say, and lower close. 
and lower high. So the chances were that it could come and test the low here once again. But now we have a nice bearish candle close to the downside, very, very solid candle close. What do we expect now? What are we looking for? Okay, so in this case, I would be looking for price to drop, and Shimon says it will drop as well. Yes, I agree. Prickle says down. Yep. Okay, I am with you guys on that. So the only thing I would say here is it could go and pull back up into this support and resistance level at 1.6190 level. Back into here, we have a pin here as well and then do a drop. So there it says down to, to resistance. I would say support, down into the support is probably what you mean. Um, so look for a pullback into resistance uh, over here and then a drop, but overall, uh, biases to the downside. I knew what you meant, Larry, <laughs> support, yes. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's see if we are correct. Okay, so it's pulled back. I was looking for a pullback into this resistance level here, but it's pulled back a little bit higher. Now we are back into the bottom of that range that price had been uh, testing for a while. So what are we looking for now? So here I would be looking for price to, this is interesting. So we have a bullish candle close, but it is not bullish engulfing. So overall bias is still to the downside. So price could go into the high of this candle, but I am looking for price to drop. And Juwin says drop, Ripple says drop down as well. Yes, yeah, so I'm looking for price to drop. So we have had a pullback. I'd be looking for price to drop further. But now once price starts to, if price does go back into this range here, then it can go back and do uh, be range bound. So just um, that's something that we would have to be careful with. And again, when we t when we actually trade this under live market conditions, what we want to see is see a close below a hold below this level and then take a trade. And I think what we'll do next week is we will go into the next step of our uh, strategy here, which is to drill down to a one hour time frame. So we'll start doing that as of next week. So this week we'll just, uh, we are a little rusty or I'm a little rusty, haven't done this in a couple of weeks. So we'll just practice on our candles. Next week we'll do a split screen where we will go on the daily and then we'll drop down to a one hour time frame and we will test it that way. So let's take a look. So I'm looking for a price to continue in the downward direction. So let's take a look. Okay, so it's pulled back. This is what I was talking about. It could pull back into the high of the candle. So it's pulled back. Um, the unfortunate part here is that it's back into its holding um, in back in the range again. And what can happen here is that it can go back all the way to the top of the range. So this is one of the days where I would look for a different candle or different chart, which may have a better trade setup. But here we do have a bullish candle here and the risk here is that it could go all the way up. Perfect, so let's take a look. There we go. Oh, sorry, I pressed the button too many times. Um, okay, but as we can see, uh, this this is the risk here uh, that I was talking about. Price can go all the way to the top. And now we are, excuse me, we are into the next support and resistance area. Um, now we do have a bearish candle close here, but there's a pin in the bottom. So again, it broke down, and this is what Dollar Cad did in it was last couple of weeks or last two, three weeks. This is what it's been doing. It was in a range. It dropped down, then turned around, went all the way and tested the high, and then it's uh, it dropped, and it's just been doing this back and forth chop like that. So this is exactly what we're seeing here as well. It broke out of the range here, went to the next high, and now we have a bearish candle close. So we do have this pin in the bottom. So if price stays above this level, then I'd be looking for price to continue upwards. But again, the question will be, can we see, can we get the price to hold? And that's the most important thing. And this is where going down to that smaller time frame will really help. All right, so let's take a look. 
All right, so a price, um, it tried to go higher, but it could not maintain that. So now we have a pin. So price gave us a big pin, went all the way into the, into the this pin here, and or these pins, I should say, and then has dropped from here. So what do we expect next? All right, so here I would be looking for price to drop here. I do like the pin here. I do like that price hasn't been able to hold above. So this pin bar, I would be looking for price to drop. So Sunny, hey, welcome you guys. Good to see um, all the familiar faces. Uh, perfect, so Pritbal says down, Sunny, Schumann, all of you guys are saying down. I would say down as well. Yeah, that's a nice rejection up top. So let's take a look. Rick says still holding support. It is still holding support. So that's the risk. So we do need to see a close below this level here for it to continue lower. So let's take a look. Okay, so we have finally a close back into the range here. What do we expect here? All right, um, uh, no worries, Sunny. All right, so here I am looking for price too. So we have a second pin bar here. It's smaller pin bar, but it's, um, it's uh, still a pin bar. So I would be looking for price to drop here and I am seeing uh, uh, drop, uh, push down, pit bell says down, Sunny says push down. All right, I am looking for price to come back down as well back towards the bottom of the range here, and it may take us several candles to get there, but my bias is to the downside. Let's take a look. Okay, <laughs> price quite gone and held below this. So here, this one, we would have to, I would wait on this. So, so Greg says he's not bearish, it can still go up. Yeah, so the, pro the problem here is it's holding above here. It hasn't really quite broken down. See how it came and started and gave us this big, nice candle close in the, into the range. We haven't quite seen that. It was a little one and I was looking for a follow through which we did not get. And now it, it, it pushed up again. And now we have a bullish candle body here with a nice rejection up top but it still has bullishness in it. So this is where going into a lower time frame to see which side of the support resistance level it's gonna hold will be very important. And again, this may be one of those days where we may wanna look at another uh, pair to trade because this is giving, this is not giving us a clear signal at this time. So let's take a look what happens here. Now that is a good set candle close. What do we expect now? So here I'm looking for, so Greg says still bullish. I'm looking for price to come back into the bottom of the range. So it is range bounce uh, back into the range here. I'm looking for it to come into the bottom of this range, then um, then see what happens. So Schumann Sunny says go down. So let's take a look. Yep. Uh, so we do have a little pullback. I'm always looking for pullbacks, especially when we have big candle closes like that. I usually see pullbacks, you know, most of the time there's a pullback. So that's a good, good thing. And then a drop. So now we have a nice bearish candle close. What do we expect here? Okay, down, yep, I'm looking for price to go back down, back into either this support or the next support. Let's take a look. Okay, so it came into this support, and now we have a bullish candle close. So it's a back and forth. Um, so we did see a drop. Um, however, now um, we have a reversal of our well, bullish candle close. Where do we expect price to go now? All right, so I'm looking for 
price to go up from here. So this is a bullish pin bar. And I'm looking for price to go back into the top of the range once again. So we have uh, some mixed up and down. Um, guesses, I'm looking for price to go up. Let's take a look. Okay, so we now we are into this support and resistance level right here, back into these pins. And now we have a bullish candle close and we have a pin here. So what do we expect? Looking up, I, I would say, yeah, I would look for price to go see if we can test the level, uh, the resistance once again. Let's take a look. Okay, so it went up a little bit. And then now we have a bearish candle close. So as we can see, this pair here is very choppy. And we have seen dollar cat, especially dollar cat, do that under the current live market conditions where dollar cat has just been back and forth. It's just been choppy. Um, all right. So what are we looking at now? What do we expect price to do? So here I'm looking for price to come back down into the support once again. So let's take a look. Okay, so here we are. Um, head and shoulders, yes, Shuman. Uh, there is a bit of a head and shoulders going on here. So we have the head in the middle here. So left shoulder, right shoulder, you're correct. So there is a bit of head and shoulders going on. So after this, um, I'm looking for drop as well. So Schumann Sunny was saying looking for price to go down. Yes, so I'm looking for price to go down to this support and then potentially lower uh, lower into this level here. So let's take a look. Now do keep in mind, this is where price has been turning around previously. So that's something to be mindful of. Okay, let's see. All right, so now we are at the next level. What do we expect now? All right, so I'm going to be looking for price to drop further, see if it will come and retest this bottom or this level here, and then see what it gives us. So there is still bearishness in this candle, even though we have we see a rejection, there is still bearishness in this candle, which means it could drop back lower. But again, we have to be careful here as well, because we are at that level, and price could um, price could turn around. So let's take a look. Okay, so what now? That one is not not much of a candle here. Um, I would consider that more of a pullback. So I think my bias, I think, still stays to the downside here. Overall, we are moving lower, so a drop pullback. So I'm still looking for price to uh, drop further. Greg says into the next level of support. Yes, I would be looking for price to see if we can price can um, test this support once again. Okay, here we go. So finally, it's broken through. We have a nice bearish candle close here. What do we expect now? So here I would uh, look for further drop here. We have a nice bearish candle close, and I would look for price to drop further into this level here, maybe a pullback here, and then a drop. But overall, a bias is to the downside. Uh, so I don't know if you remember about free fall. You were correct last time about, about it being bearish. Don't know about free fall though, but I do, I'm looking for price to drop into this next pin and um, and let's see what happens. Larry says down, Greg says down. Okay, let's take a look. Well, there is that free fall, Schumann. <laughs> so we did see a pullback and that's, that's something to keep in mind. So it looks like there was some sort of an event that happened because it pulled back all the way to this level right here, previous support and resistance, and then dropped from there. So it, it went in completely opposite direction first before it dropped, but it did close. The, it is bearish, um, and it did drop all the way. 
I was looking for this one and it went all the way to the next support and resistance level. Now what? What are we expecting now? So here I will be looking for a bit of a pullback and then potentially another drop. So let's take a look. Okay, so here's our pullback. It's closed lower, still biases to the downside. So let's take a look. There is a little bit of bullishness here as well. So again, being careful. So yeah, we are into support here. Nice a pin. It's uh, it's still bearish. So I'm looking for price to draw further. So let's take a look. Here we go. So what do we expect here? So here I'd be looking for price to draw further into into back into this pin here. Let's take a look. Yeah, it stayed there forever. Okay, so here we are back into this support level here. Now we had a big pin here, which means uh, we could see a, a rejection of this level. So we in a smaller on a one hour time frame, for example, or a small time frame, this will look like a double bottom. So we have a rejection here now as well. It fell into that level. And now it's pulled back. What do we expect now? Oh, you want to look back on the chart? Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's so all zoom out here. So this is the support we are in. So this is where price had reacted previously. And now we are in. So last three times that price came into this level, it pushed up higher. So what do we expect now? So my, my bias here would be to the upside. I would look for a pullback, potentially back into this level here. But it could do another like a move to the downside and then a move up. So basically looking for a pull down and then move back higher, at least into this next level of support and resistance here, because that's a strong support level. And as we can see here, every time price came into this level, it hasn't broken it. So looking for price to move up. Okay. Yes. Bullish with caution, Greg says. Yes. So let's take a look. Okay, so it didn't really, so it looks like it's still biased to the downside. Overall, we have a big bearish move, and now we have a close right into the bottom. What are we looking for now? Um, so here, the bias, my bias is still to the downside, but... I would be careful because we are right into support. So again, this is where we would go into a smaller time frame to see where price is, what price is doing, right? So here, as we can see, price um, had given us a rejection and then a bullish candle close, and then we got the bearish. So it can totally do that. So do keep that in mind. So it is bearish overall, but... Uh, this is where I would go into a lower time frame and take a look at it. So overall, my bias is to the downside, but here I would hold off till we look at a lower time frame before entering trades. But the bias stays to the downside, so let's take a look. Okay, so here we are. It moved into the next support level, and if you were to zoom out once again, so this is the next support and resistance level, but it has finally broken through this level. So what do we expect now? So for me here, I would be looking for a further move to the downside because price is holding below here. Now we do have a pin here, uh, but we could drop back into the bottom once again or even lower. So my bias is still to the downside. So let's take a look. Okay, so it dropped but didn't quite break the low here. It dropped into close to the bottom here, and then it pushed back up. Now, what do we expect? 
Yes, and you're right. It was not very convincing. That's why uh, I was looking for a bounce. All right, so here I would, um, yeah, I would look for a pullback. So we have had a nice big drop here. Now we could get a pullback. So the pullback could come into this uh, 1.5885 level, potentially higher, even all the way into this level here, because that's that's been a big drop without any kind of a real pullback. So now I'm looking for price to go into this level and potentially into that level. So let's take a look. Okay, so it's just going sideways, hasn't really um, gone higher. Uh, now what? So here we have a doji, a spinning top here. There is really no, um, it didn't, it opened and closed at exactly the same place and there are pins on both sides. So there's no bias on this one. It's a perfectly neutral candle. So in this case, it can go either way. So either it can just draw from here or it can pull back into that level. Uh, again, the bias would be neutral. Overall bias is to the downside. So I would wait to see what this shows us. And this is again, one of those days where we wanna go and look at, we want to go and take a look at a different chart to trade. This would not be the best tradable opportunity. So let's take a look what happens here. Okay, so now it just drops. So it looks like this was a weekend or something because price just um, drew gapped down here. And we have a close. If we were to pull back all the way, we are into this support here. And price has closed below the previous support there. What are we looking for now? So in this case, I would be looking for price to, to drop further. So we have a nice... Uh, we have a nice candle close and uh, looking for price to drop further into 1.5560 level here. So let's take a look. So I'm seeing a lot of go down, let's say lower. Let's see. Uh, so not very much. So we have a bullish candle close here. Now what? So here, so since we are back up, back into that level and we have a bullish counter close, I would look for price to go up higher, maybe even into, into the top here and see, and uh, potentially it will start going sideways. Let's take a look. Yep, that ball is right all the way down. It did not, um, it did not break above the gap level here. It could not go above the previous uh, previous gap. So this is where price had gap down and it didn't go to close the gap. I was looking for it to go close the gap. It didn't do that. It just stayed below this low, the high here. And there we have a big drop to the downside. Now, what do we expect? All right, so here I would be looking for price to maybe do a bit of a pullback and then drop down further into the next support and resistance level right over here. So bias still stays to the downside. So let's take a look. Okay, this one actually didn't even give us a pullback. I would be looking for a pullback into this level here. So it just dropped from here. It's a lot of uh, bearishness here. Okay, what do we expect now? So here I'm looking for price to drop further now. We are all the way, but now we have to be careful actually. We're all the way into the bottom. So that's something to be careful. We are into support. So it could give us some sort of a reversal signal here and then pull up. So we have to be careful. Here we go. We have a pullback. And now what? So here it could pull back further. And 
Um, and then we have to see how it goes. So let's take a look. Okay, so there we are. Price is pulling back. Now we have a bullish candle close. What now? Okay, up, yeah, I would be looking for price to move higher here as well. Let's take a look. Here we go. So what now? Okay, so yeah, I would be looking for price to go into the high here. So red says bullish candle, buy says bullish. Yes, looking, okay. Going to the resistance, Sunny says, Truman says drop. All right, let's see. So here I'm looking for price to go and test this level once again. Um, let's take a look. Okay, so it did go higher, but didn't quite make it to that level and stopped about there, which was all the way here. So this is our support from here, which became resistance. Now what? Um, so here um, we have a railroad reversal type thing going on. Here I will be looking for price to come back down here. So price is holding below this uh, critical level here. So I'm looking for price to drop. Schumann says drop, Ritval says drop. All right, let's take a look. So I went and tested the high again. So this is... This candle is similar to this candle right here. So we do have bullishness here, but we have pins here as well. What do we expect? So here I would look for price to either go test this level once again and then drop from there or it could drop from here. So let's take a look. Um, not my favorite. I would not trade it right from here. Uh, maybe this level would be a good one to trade at or just go down to a small time frame and see what it's doing. But overall, as long as this holds below this resistance level here, I would be bearish on this. Uh, but yeah, it is going sideways. And uh, let's see. So we are kind of uh, getting into that sideways move here. And let's see. Okay, so here's our bearish candle here. What do we expect next? Okay, so here I will look for price to drop back down into the support level once again. Football says down, so let's take a look. Okay, so it came right into the support, and now we have a bullish pin bar. What now? Yeah, we have a double bottom, bullish pin bar. Where do we expect this to go? So it says continuation to the downside. Okay. Um, I would actually be looking for. Um, I would be looking for price to pull back into this next uh, next support resistance level. See if it will pull up higher. Shimon says up. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, hasn't really done much. It's holding the level. So we have another pin. <laughs> uh, now what? So we are into this sideways move here after this big drop, pull back, and now we are testing the bottom here. Price is trying to push lower, but having trouble here. John says up, Daniel says up, all right. So we are, yeah, we are into the support resistance level. Actually, this is a major support. This is why actually doing, taking a look at zooming out is a good, Good idea here. So one, two, three, fourth, fifth time price has tested this and hasn't broken, or this is the fifth time that price is testing this. All right, so here, what do we expect? We have a big pin here. Um, so we could see price test this low again, but I'm still looking for price to move up higher. It seems to be rejecting this level multiple times. So let's take a look. So I have combination um, in terms of answers. Some people with up, some down. Let's take a look. Okay, so here we go. So that was a big rejection pin there. And price has moved up. So now what do we expect? 
So here I'll be looking for price to move, see if it'll come and test this level once again. So I'd be looking for a uh, move up here. Shimon says up, Gregory's bullish. All right, let's take a look. Okay, so here we are, what now? Okay, so here this is interesting. We are into resistance here. This is where price had turned, um, but this is looking bullish now. So this is where I would look at this resistance level and how price reacts at this resistance level. So if the price holds on the other side, we can go into the next uh, support resistance level all the way up here. So uh, we have a nice double bottom in here. So it could pull back higher. It could even go all the way into this, which is, I guess, this level here. So let's take a look. Okay, someone says sideways. Yes, so sideways, we have a bearish candle close. Now what? Okay, so here now we have started trading in a range. So if we were to remove this, as we can see, now we are in this wide range, right? So price rejected the high, and, and now we have a small bearish candle close. So here I will be looking for price to draw back down towards the bottom of the range. So let's take a look. Not so much, looking bullish. It's uh, So in this case, it was more of a pullback for another leg up higher. So now we are finally back into, we have filled that gap here that existed. So now we have a bullish candle close. What now? So here I'd be looking for price to maybe do another pullback and then go higher here. Let's take a look. Okay, so it pulled back into this level. It's holding above still. Let's take a look. Okay, so here we are pushing higher. And what's next? Still bullish, yeah. I'd be looking for price to move back into this level here or potentially even a little bit higher. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so now it looks like it's uh, it's getting stuck here. What now? So here it's interesting. Overall move is to the downside. This immediate move is to the upside. Now we have a railroad type reversal here, but it could just be a pullback into the support for a continuation to the upside or if we go to the other side, we could see a drop. So again, it will be critical to go to a smaller time frame to see where the price holds. And based on that, um, it, that will be the best thing to do to trade this. So here, I would look for price to come and test this, this level once again. So let's see. Okay, so it came down into the support. We have pins on both sides, bearish candle close. And now what? Um, so here, this is interesting. This one could go either way. So it looks like it could drop more, come back into this bottom of this candle, or it could turn around from here because it hasn't exactly closed back into the range. It's still holding above and then it could continue higher. But right now, I'd be looking for price to come into, into this support and resistance right over uh, to the next level. Let's take a look. So this is what I was talking about. If Because the price hasn't really closed below this level, so we need to see a close for it to continue lower. So here, now price is holding sideways above this previous, uh, above the previous range here. So it could go up once again, even into this resistance level. So let's take a look. Okay, so it came and tested it one more time. And now we have a pin bar. What do we expect now? Okay, so here I will look for price to go up higher. Um, maybe test the this level here and then um, the next one up. So John says up. Let's take a look. I'm looking for price to go higher as well. 
Gwex is bullish, all right. Here we go. So all the way into the second support and resistance area that we were looking at. And now what? Okay, so now we are looking quite bullish. Pretty much everyone was saying bullish. So here I would look for a pullback potentially and then uh, maybe move higher here. So let's take a look. Okay, so a bit of a pullback, didn't drop all the way down. And now we are looking bullish. Bullish next up, all right. So it looks like we have all the votes are for up move. I am uh, biased to the upside as well. Now what? John says to the mood. I don't know about that. <laughs> I, I will be looking for the next one here and then see how price reacts at this support and resistance level. So here uh, we have a neutral candle close, a doji completely neutral here. And uh, now, as we can see here, price did react at this level. So it could, it could go sideways. And as we can see, price kind of went sideways here. It could go sideways. Um, or I'd be looking for price to go into this next pin up here. So bias still stays bullish. So let's take a look. Okay. So here it's going sideways like we talked about here. Um, so this one here, we do have a bearishness. We have bearishness in this candle, but we have a pin as well. So right now it's looking quite sideways. Overall move here is bullish, but right now we're starting to go sideways. So this doesn't look very trade or I wouldn't trade it from a daily time frame. Again, good time to go look for a different chart when we are trading live. So right now it looks kind of sideways. So I'm just gonna see what happens. Greg, you're right. The bias is still bullish. So overall, overall bias still stays bullish, but it was going sideways. So now we have a big bullish candle close. What now? So here we have a bullish candle close. I would be looking for price to go into the next level here. So let's take a look. Okay, so we pull back and uh, then candle close is bullish still. So now what? So here I'd be looking for price to go into this next support and resistance level right over there. So let's see. Okay, it doesn't quite get all the way into the pin. Goes to this pre these previous pins over here. So now we have a similar candle close here. What now? So here we are still um, going upwards here. Now it could pull back into the support once again, um, but overall, so right now it's starting to go sideways here. Um, now let's take a look. So I'm getting some ups, yep. All right, so now we have a bearish candle close. Now what? So it looks like it kind of pulled back 50% here from here to here, it kind of pulled back 50%. Okay, so now that we have a bearish candle close, what are we looking for next? Okay, so here I would be looking for price to drop further here into this support and resistance level here. So it looks bearish or even all the way down here. So bearish, so I'm seeing ups here. So let's take a look. Okay, so we had a bit of a pullback and then a drop still hasn't closed below this level. What are we looking for here? Okay, so here I would be looking to see if the price can break below the support resistance level. So if it doesn't close below the support resistance level, then it could go higher. So again, looking at, uh, looking at how the price is closed here, will be important, but um, it could it it could drop here again. And um, this is starting to look bearish now, so it could come back all the way down 
Uh, but for now, I'd be looking for price to drop um, into this next level here. But if it gets stuck above this level, then it could turn around. So that's something we have to be careful with. And that's what I meant. Because if price cannot close below the support um, resistance level here, then um, sometimes this happens, right? So price is not able to break below, so ends up going higher. So now we are into this range here. What are we looking for? So here I'd be looking for price to go up, uh, to move higher into, into this resistance level. Let's see. <laughs> not much of a candle, again, okay. So it's looking sort of bullish, small candle, but still has that bullishness in it. So I would look for price to move higher here. So let's see. Okay, pushing higher. Now, not quite at the resistance still, so I'd be looking for price to go up into the resistance right over here. So let's see. Didn't quite make it. I was looking for a double top here. So didn't quite make it. Big move to the downside. Now what? Okay, so here now we have this little M formation here. So I'd be looking for maybe pullback and then a drop and looking for price to break below this level. So that will be the key thing here. But I think bias here is shifting to the downside now. Okay, so we are, see how we got stuck into the same level. So we dropped, bit of a pullback. It's, we got pins on both sides, now what? Okay, so I would be looking for price to drop still, but again, watching this level here, it needs to close on the other side. Buy still is to the downside here. Not so much. We are totally sideways here. And now we have a bullish candle close. So what now? So it's becoming basically, it's a, it's a range now. This is a range that price is trading in just like it, was, it had traded in this range here. So now looking for price to go into the high once again. And not so much. Now we have a bearish candle. This is exactly this. This is what price was doing here as well. And one thing though, price is making lower highs here. So my bias is still to the downside. Looking for price to close or close below this level here. So my bias is still to the downside. It's it's making it's trending lower here. So let's take a look. Here we go. Nice bearish candle close. What now? Yeah, so I'd be looking for price to drop further here back into this level or the next level. Let's see. Okay, so now we're starting to get a bit of a bias here again. What next? Okay, so here I'll be looking for price to drop further, maybe into this level, this level, or this level here, looking for a drop. Okay, still looking for a drop, let's see. So we have, we pulled back into this level, so drop, pull back. So I'm still looking for another continuation to the downside here. Okay, so here we have that. Now what? So here I would look for a further drop. It both says drop, down, yep. Yeah. Okay, so kind of sideways, neutral here, looking for drop, or we got the drop. Now what? So here I'd be looking for another drop. Okay, so the candle's getting smaller, but bias is still bearish. Let's take a look. So I'm looking for price to basically come into this, this support level here. The momentum could be waning here though. Okay, see how the candle bodies are getting smaller? So that means the momentum is uh, momentum is not there. Same thing here as well. See how the candle bodies got smaller? So we had a big body, 
big candle body here and then they got smaller and then we had a big candle close here same thing here we had a nice big bearish candle and now they're getting smaller so we could see we could be coming up to a reversal here okay so bias is still to the downside looking for test the low here but i'd be looking for reversals as well here we go so pull back we do have a big pin here which means bias still stays to the downside let's take a look now we have a big bullish candle close so see when when we start to see this momentum shifting here or a drop in momentum where the price is not um, the candle bodies are not as big it can do one of these all right so now we have a bullish candle close small pin on the upside it's it's still looking bullish so this would be this could go up higher here so let's take a look so we're back into the next resistance level all right so i think we will call it a wrap so that was a good um good exercise it's nice so the best point of these uh these moves is when we get a trending move like this the sideways um, it doesn't do much, right? So that's why it's nice to look for um, look for candles when or look for trades when price is trending like this because just based on how the candle closes, we can make an educated guess on where it's likely to go next. And this is a good practice. So when you're doing your analysis in the evening or preparation for the trades, so this is a good one to keep in mind. All right, so we will wrap it up, you guys. Thank you for participating. Great job, everyone, on um, um, on making the guesses and commenting on where price is going to go. Very, very important exercise, just like all the athletes will practice their throws and stuff, regardless of how experienced they are. This is a good practice for us as well to to get into so we can keep our skills sharp. All right. Thanks, Larry. Uh, thank you, guys. And you're welcome. Have a wonderful rest of the day. And I will see you again tomorrow. So we'll do this again tomorrow. And starting next week, we will drill down into the one hour time frame. So we'll look at the daily candle and then drill down into the one hour time frame. So have a wonderful rest of the day. I will see you tomorrow then. Bye for now.